Question four. Figure four point one shows the polydentate ligand,、uh, which is the EDTA, and this、uh, polydentate ligand is has six donor atoms, and they are this one, this one, this, 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 and this. So it has six donor atom. Means it can donate six lone pair to form six stative bonds with the metal cation. That's why we call this、uh, EDTA as a polydentate ligand. Table four point one shows the the care steps for the、uh, five complex ion、uh, with EDTA. Part A. Define the stability constant.、Uh, so I use uh, this uh, equation uh, to explain、uh, further. Okay, equilibrium constant means the care step is equilibrium constant for the formation of a complex ion.、Uh, in this example, means、uh, the iron three with the EDTA complex ion. In a solvent, the solvent、uh, normally is water. From its constituents ion, so means from the this EDTA and this、uh, ion three, so this hexa aqua ion three、uh, complex ion. So this one is the care step about means uh is uh going to be the concentration of the the complex ion form over the concentration of these two. Part B: Calculate the oxidation states of copper and the chromium in their complex ion. So for copper, we know that the、uh, EDTA is uh, uh, the charge is negative、uh, four negative, so its oxidation number is negative four, and the overall charge is two negative. So we know that now the copper must be positive two. So positive two minus four, so is、uh, mi uh, minus two means the、uh, two negative. Charge for chromium,、uh, we know that EDTA is negative four, overall charge is negative, so chromium must be positive three. So we get this positive two and positive three. For C, deduce the number of lone pairs donated by each EDTA ligand、uh, in a single this、uh, iron two and the EDTA complex ion. So this one、uh, I already told you,、uh, the EDTA can donate six lone pair. So it's six lone pair because、uh, it has the six donor atoms here, right? Can form six stative bonds. Part D: Identify the most stable、uh, complex ion、uh, in the table four point one. Explain your choice. So this one is、uh, quite easy.、Um, so we just need to、uh, find or get the、uh, highest care step. So which is the last one, the uh, this uh, care step of the complex ion、uh, between the iron three and the EDTA. So which is one point two six times ten power twenty five. So because it's largest, we say that it's most stable, because、uh, when this、uh, complex ion form more. Means、uh, it's actually more more stable or more stable. So means the complex ion its concentration is now relatively higher. So means its、uh, amount is larger and it's more stable. For the part E, in a solution at equilibrium at two nine eight Kelvin. Uh, so the concentration of this hexa aqua copper two、uh, is three、uh, times ten power negative ten, and the concentration of EDTA is five times ten power negative twelve. Use the expression of, of the care step、uh, to calculate the concentration of this、uh, the copper two and the EDTA complex ion.、Uh, before you uh, calculate, uh, make sure you、uh, get the correct care step expression.、Uh, so from this equation. The hexa aqua copper two reacts with the EDTA form this、uh, complex ion and water. 
So when we uh, when we try to construct the care step, okay, we not really include water. Water is a constant. So we just will take a concentration of the complex ions that form over its constituent ion. Okay, so uh, something like this. Okay, so this is a care step expression. And you just need to substitute the values, the care step, and the concentration uh, that's given here and calculate the concentration of the complex ion. So at the end, you get uh, 0 0.0947 mole per dm cube. For the F, okay. now, um, the solution of this uh, copper with EDTA complex ion is pale blue, while a solution of this uh, uh, copper uh, with the ammonia and H2O uh, complex ion, uh, this is the uh, another stable complex ion of copper and it's deep blue. Now, explain uh, the difference in the color. So, uh, before you uh, uh, answer that, you must understand uh, how the colors form. The colors form because of the absorption, uh, absorption of light. So, we know that uh, when the complex ion is formed, uh, uh, is formed we, uh, the D orbitals means the 5 D orbitals if you undergo D D splitting. For the octahedral complex, let's say, uh, it will form two sets. Means 2 D orbital will uh, slightly uh, higher energy level, and another 3 D orbital will at the lower energy level. When they have this D D splitting, uh, something like this, these two this set and this set so they have the uh, so-called energy gap so we call delta E and this energy gap uh, is has certain uh, um, wavelength or frequencies involved because the energy gap is actually equal to HV H is a Planck constant V is a frequency so frequency also we can uh, uh, relates to the this uh, the wavelength. So now, if let's say the light pass through the sample, and the electrons from the lower energy level will absorb the light and jump to higher energy level. Will jump to higher energy level. So some of the wavelength or the frequency uh, will be absorbed and the frequencies that absorb, okay, we cannot see the particular color. We will see is complementary color. So, and because this absorption will form color means different energy gap Will, for, will absorb different color. Uh, that's the key. Different energy gap, let's say, uh, the one complex is has this energy gap, which is smaller. Another complex is has a larger energy gap, let's say, like this. So therefore, the electron from lower energy level will absorb different wavelength or frequency. So eventually, we will see different complementary color. Uh, this is this is uh, how you answer the question. So you must understand uh, what is the energy gap first. Okay. So of course this is the answers for Mark's scheme, right? So if you understand what I'm telling you now, you should be able to understand this answer, right? So this is due to different delta E, because different complex ion they have different delta E between the d orbitals, and since delta E is different, therefore they will absorb different wavelength and frequency, and we will see different complementary color. Okay, I hope you understand, and thank you.